Hello. Thanks for joining us again. We're back and what we'd like to talk about now is Static's proprietary line of quantum photon lighting. We know that the Department of Energy has spent a lot of money teaching us that compact fluorescent lighting or CFL is an effective way to go green and save money. Well, we'd like to address that. Certainly they do use less watts and require less watts than the old incandescent lighting that we all grew up with. Incandescent lighting actually creates heat, and the light is a byproduct of that heat. Um, about 95 to 97 percent of the electricity that you use in the incandescent light bulbs that we grew up with creates heat. About 3 to 5 percent creates light. So, most of us made the switch to CFL lighting. We found something unique that maybe you've experienced as well. While we did make the switch, most of our bills didn't really go down, not noticeably. And what we got in return was a buzzy, flickery light that isn't pretty. It's hard on the eyes, hard on the mood, and many say not as easy on our health. I'm not a doctor, I can't say that, but I do know how they make me feel. Nothing feels as good as sunlight on your skin, right? And no one likes to work in a space, home or office, that has a buzzy, flickery light. So let's go ahead and address some of these things on the same meters that we use here at Zadik a lot. And let's take a look at a few products. Again, these products are not notably good or bad. Um, I can say wholeheartedly that we've done this test on maybe 50 different light bulb brands and variations in watt. Um, we have a few here that are about middle of the road and we'd like to show you how they perform. This little light here is a Sunbeam brand and it says definitively on it, take my word for it or don't, 24 watts. I assure you that we do this test a lot and I am being authentic. Right on here in black print it says 24 watts. So let's go ahead and turn it on. You'll notice that the color isn't lovely. I can see that it's more lit down here, not as well lit up here. Uh, it's starting to get warm, and my favorite color is blue. I'd just like you to take a look at the color rendering there for the blue. Let's check in with our meters. Well, this meter actually says 35 watts. It says 24. This meter says 35. It's getting hot as blue blazes, and I don't know if you can hear it, but it's buzzing. So this guy is about fully lit now. We're going to check back in with our meter, so I'm going to cover this from my eyes a little bit. Our kilowatt meter says 0.36 amps, and our watt meter now is up to 42. As these continue to grow in light output, or lumens, as the whole lamp begins to light up, we'll consistently see the watt output, or the watt draw, grow. That's in part one of the reasons why when we made the change, a lot of our bills didn't go down as much as we expected. The efficiency of this lamp is 0.57. So, 57% of this electricity is being converted into lumens. The other 43% is being converted into heat. If you remember, compared to our incandescent bulb, that's about 10 times better. 5% to 50% is a huge leap. That's why we made the change. But this lamp is, is as hot as blue blazes. Color rendering is poor. It's incredibly hard on my eyes. It is buzzing right now. And the watts are almost double of what it says. Here's another little light bulb. This guy is Eco brand, and he says 12 watts. Let's go ahead and turn him on and check with our meters. He's nice and cool to start. If you remember, this 24 watt came in at about 40. He came in at an efficiency, a power factor of about 57, and his amp was about 0.35. Let's compare it. 
The amp is a little bit less at about 0.25. The power factor or efficiency of this little guy for power factor is actually a little bit higher, which is not a bad power factor rating for a compact fluorescent lamp. But again, our total power is at 34. Um, this guy says 12. According to this meter, he's requiring almost three times the electricity that he should be requiring. I don't know about you. I can, I can forgive 10 or 15%. 300%, that's kind of a stretch. I think you'll agree with me. So we're at 0.2 amps, about 0.6 power factor efficiency. And we've changed now to about 26 watts just over double what it says, and color rendering is poor, and this guy is already as hot as blue blazes. At SATIC, one of the things that we like to do is use electricity as efficiently as possible. We don't want to change your lifestyle. What we want to do is make sure that things run better, run cooler, last longer, and make your electricity go as far as possible. This is a SATIC 20 watt quantum photon light bulb. Quantum photon is unique to static, and let's show you what it does. You'll notice that it was instantly on. Each of these took some time to excite all of the mercury-filled vapor. The static quantum photon bulb is instantly on. While he says 20 watts on the product, I see 23 of total power here almost exactly what it says. And if you'll remember, half almost of either of these with more light, the light is beautiful. And let's check some other things. This 12 watt guy was at 0.2 something amps and 0.3 something amps. The quantum bulb is at 0.17. While being more watts or and more lumens approximately half. Let's check our efficiency. 0.96. Many electrical engineers will tell you 0.96 is impossible for a CFL lamp. What's that mean? If you remember, 96% of the electricity is being turned into lumens, 0.4 into heat. What's that mean? It means that this light bulb will never get hot. If this light bulb has been on for four hours, you can untwist it and hand it to your child. If it doesn't get hot, how long will it last? If it doesn't get hot, how much less work will your air conditioner do cooling it down? Do you remember color rendering? The color rendering is beautiful. Blue is my favorite color. With these other lights, you'll never see true blue. With the static unit, you can for doing makeup clothing, art, multimedia, the light's superior. The light will save you potentially 50 cents to a dollar per month per lamp while giving you a happier, healthier, cooler, quieter place to live. It doesn't buzz. Its amp is less, its efficiency is higher, and its total draw output about half of similar lamps. What could be an easier way to reduce your footprint, to increase your health and your happiness, to immediately save you money every day, and because these operate cool, they last for years, reducing two things, landfill and your requirement to buy a replacement lamp. We know you're busy. We're grateful for the time that you take educating yourself and learning about Zadig's product line. Thank you.